time now for your forewarned weather with Chief Meteorologist Alana Brophy. All right, we are checking back in with Chief Meteorologist Alana Brophy, who is live at the Utah State Fair. And Alana, how many friends have you made so far out there? I think I counted at least seven. Oh, Courtney, the number's way higher than that. We've got folks visiting for the first day of the Utah State Fair. It's good for Utah Day, so we've got families coming through, and I am with your barnyard friends, and I consider each and every one of them one of my buddies. But I am standing actually with the dairy cows, which is very interesting. We've got a Holstein, and then we've got a Jersey right here. This is Jersey, and that's Holstein. Now, Holstein's more of a dairy cow, and they actually produce that milk. A Jersey cow has a higher fat content, so that is your butter and cream cow. Can I tell you, I'm learning every second that I'm here at the fair. We're actually going to feed one of them. There's a lot going on at the fair, which is great because there's not a lot going on in the weather world. We've actually have gorgeous conditions out here. The sun's been out, clear skies. It's a picture perfect day to get out there and enjoy. Our Holstein's taking it easy. Our Jersey cow's feeling it out. Who do we want to feed? Right here. Okay. So latch right onto it. Okay, here you go. Okay. Oop. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, AJ, I'm so sorry, but this is takes precedence. Okay, guys, so we are watching me feed this Holstein, who's just adorable. This calf is basically giving me life, sweetheart, and just really thirsty. And you know what? It's hot out here, so it's not a surprise. We've got heat above average warmth in Salt Lake, and you're taking that live view of St. George where you're going to actually see those temperatures right around average or jumping above it. High pressure is in control, and you're going to notice that that high pressure is just to the southeast of the Beehive State. High pressure brings in sinking air with cool, calm conditions, and our temperatures continue to climb. That's what we're going to be dealing with throughout the desert southwest. Now, as we look at current temperatures, we've got 70s and 80s out there along the Wasatch Front. A little cooler in Park City, so the Wasatch back's a little cooler. This is the cutest calf ever. I, I want to call my husband and ask to bring this calf home. But can I just? Is, that, is there a possibility? Okay, so those temperatures actually stay above average. High pressure runs the weather scene for the next several days. If you're planning on coming to the fair, you can see that fair forecast kind of showing off that, yes, we've got quiet conditions. On top of that, we get into tonight, we're expecting 50s and 60s. Okay, we're gonna go this route. Thirsty? We all are. That was incredible, and I feel so important. Just fed that cow. Okay, so 50s and 60s for tonight. Tomorrow, our daytime highs climb into the upper 80s along the Wasatch Front. We could flirt with 90 degrees, which I won't be surprised if we get there due to that high pressure. Now, we can't hold on to dry, sunny conditions forever. No, we know it's going to change. As you look at the big picture here, it kind of shows you why and how. Oh, really? Tell me more. They already want to know about that high pressure. So it moves just a little bit, and it opens the door for moisture to move back into the state. You're seeing that in green on that map. That influx of moisture could impact southern Utah by the weekend, northern Utah by early next week. We're going to watch it closely and keep you posted. Okay, you're going to take a look at the next seven days in St. George. Isolated storms, storms come back the middle of next week, but we also, again, are keeping an eye on the weekend. Now, for the Wasatch Front, that's going to be hot and dry, pretty quiet. We get a slight chance when that high pressure moves in. So taking that look with the calves, loving every set. I just fed that calf. This is so great, the Utah State Fair. We're out here live, not just for the 4 o'clock, but at 5 and 6 as well. And we will be right back.